It's official, we're moving the camper out. <laughs> Kaden. How? No, I'm watching. idea. What if he just kind of pulls up almost straight a little bit and then cuts it back? You think? Okay. back everybody this is Kenny from the healing homestead um, I know our videos have kind of been off a little bit we've had a lot going on with uh, our son and um, just trying to get stuff done in the house but uh, as you can see behind me the camper is gone it's been moved we're actually going to be selling it uh, soon to kind of recoup some of the money that we have invested in it it's actually parked down um, by the barn a little bit but uh, we have um some guests some friends of ours that are going to be um i guess you call it boondocking hanging out and uh using this camper space behind us until they can get transitioned into where they're going so that's going to be cool and and they got their camper parked right over there in the drive ours is you know right there that's theirs but it's pretty impressive it's a definitely a big camper but anyways i was going to bring you guys along today i'm just insulating some of the chicken coop where we got the hens laying eggs because we don't want to go out to frozen eggs um another thing is deer season kicked off uh here in missouri it's actually uh the beginning of the month now and um i was able to harvest a buck uh last night before the rifle season kicked off here so got lucky with that. Uh, got one with the crossbow, but um, it's my first mature deer. It's a eight point buck. I'll take you guys down there and show. I got it hanging up in the barn right now. It's cold enough to where I don't have to worry about processing it like right now, but I field dressed it last night and uh, got it ready. So then I can skin it whenever I have an opportunity, but I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing with the chicken coop. Um, just taking some of this. I got a bunch of that foam insulation that we had for the camper. The um, skirting around it for this last winter um, and it it kept the camper from freezing up probably more often than it would have but since we have it now um, laying around I'm going to use it where we can so that we don't have eggs freezing up and eventually I'm going to be putting it just underneath um, the house right there alongside uh, or on the inside of that metal so that um, it just has an extra layer of insulation uh from the cold because this is a a mobile home so it's got the axles underneath it and everything and we've got that crawl space underneath there so that crawl space really the only thing keeping um 
the cold from getting in there is the metal going down to the ground like we have it and then it's just that thin piece of metal so if i put that foam board underneath it it's gonna add quite a bit of insulation there but i just figured i'd uh, catch you guys up and bring you guys along with what i'm doing so we'll get to it okay so we're doing a tour of the inside of this camper pretty nice look at that i mean it's it's like a house goodness gracious got the one two three four five six recliners there's a rv spot in the back and then you got the master man this thing is crazy here is going to be um the kids bedroom yes and then over here there's a lot of going to oh yeah to a hideout but they're not going to have a hideout got it they're going to use that storage very cool okay so that that's the outside it's got three slide out that thing is huge I, I think it's 42 feet <laughs> ours was like ours is 32 so i'm gonna flip it around and show you ours compared to theirs okay so there is theirs and there <laughs> is ours there's ours <laughs> we're thankful i mean that that camper there it got us through the winter and i think it'll get um some great use out of it still so we just gotta uh get it cleaned up get everything out of it and then um put it online for sale so Okay, so essentially I put the polar package on the egg nesting box. This is just used insulation that we already had. Um, it's all around, so let me see if I can take you underneath. There we go. And then I did put one of these screws in just to hold the insulation down and screwed it shut. So uh, they're all checking it out and seeing. We did have one egg in there. Lately, they've been doing these two nesting boxes. So you can see we've got milk crates that are just cut out. Um, it's kind of crazy when, let me turn this around. Kind of crazy when I built this uh, box, I just took some wood that I had left over and kind of built it. And uh, the measurements that I made were exactly <laughs> uh, the right size to fit three of them in there. I didn't have to do any alterations or anything. There's honestly times when I do things on here that I just thank God because I don't know how I do it or where I come up with ideas to do things and sometimes it just seems to work. There are times that it doesn't um, and I can blame that blame that on my own ingenuity at times but when things work out when it seems like they shouldn't <laughs> or things just happen to like fall into place I don't ever consider that co coincidence. I just say thank you Jesus and am and, and thankful for it. So now what I'm going to do and there's a little opening here and then on this front door right here this screen here i'm just going to put some plastic sheeting over the front of it i'm just going to staple it on because i don't know if you guys can see up in there yeah you can but um there's a vent up there and honestly you can see daylight through the corners and everything we don't want to totally close the chickens off where they don't have ventilation it's probably not good for them um so there's going to be some airflow through there um but we don't want too much to where they're actually like freezing so uh i'll get this done and then we'll we'll see how it goes package is installed on the chicken coop got the insulation on the 
uh, nesting boxes. I got the plastic on the door and the little slit window. And that's it for today. I'm actually uh, ready to go warm up. Maybe some coffee and a uh, cookie. Megan made us some chocolate chip cookies there. Definitely something special. So I think she could open up her own little shop <laughs> and just make chocolate chip cookies and probably do very well. So uh, I'm gonna go enjoy that. For now, uh, I'm gonna sign off and I will get back with you guys in a little bit. So the next thing I'm working on today is putting in the shelving for this closet. Delena already did the kitchen. I mean, look at that, guys. I mean, we actually have shelf space. It looks kind of crazy in the house everywhere else because we've been unpacking the camper um, and moving that stuff in here when we already had stuff. It's just been kind of crazy, you know. There's been a lot going on. And I forgot to show you guys my deer, so I'm probably going to run back out to the barn and show you guys that before it gets too dark. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to hang up some more shelving or uh, brackets for shelving in Caden's room. So I'll get that done, too, before it gets dark. But let me run out to the barn and show you guys because I'm pretty proud of this one. All right, here we go. It's cold outside. I've actually been riding this little mountain bike. <laughs> I think it's... uh. Megan's and uh, she didn't take it with her to Thailand so she left it here but it sure saves me a lot of stepping going from the house to the barn because sometimes I go to the house and the barn and back and uh, and after a while it just gets tiring but here we go <laughs> warning this is graphic too he's already been gutted but there he is so he's got a nice eight point rack on him so there he is peep it's kind of cool he's got nice little character on his antlers kind of knobby it's it's my first mature deer um and what i mean by mature is like uh got four points or more on one side of his antlers. Um, I've killed a deer before at our old place that was a buck. It only had three on each side, but we were in a county that there wasn't an antler point restriction. Um, the county that we're in now, it's uh, a four point minimum. So even if one of the antlers is completely broke off, as long as they have four on one side. But yeah, that's gonna be deer jerky. It's gonna be some roast. It's gonna be some back strap. Um, and like I said, it's cold enough right now where he is frozen solid. Uh, and I'll probably get to processing him either tomorrow after church or uh, Monday. So there it is. I, I'm excited about it. It, it was fun. <laughs> Just the whole, if you're into hunting or not, or if you've ever heard anybody talk about hunting, it's exciting. Um, and this one was definitely that for me, so. Okay, well, I'm closing out for the night. I wanted to show you guys the shelf in that back closet that Delena uh, designed and built for me. Um, I know I showed you guys the uh, kitchen shelving that she built, but let me tell you, I'm super proud of what she does around here. I mean, it just makes everything function a whole lot better. Got my coffee roaster, fresh coffee beans and grinder, um, coffee maker. We got all kitchen accessories and she's even got a little labeler and been taking these glasswares that she's picked up and got, you know, cornstarch, taco seasoning. I mean, you got all of it labeled out. She's setting it up how she wants it. We even got some stuck to the fridge, little magnet holders. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys Caden's room. All right, I'm here. Copy that. All right, I got him watching some right now media okay it's dark in here so flip on the light there it is so he's got the monster closet for the kids so we're going to be hanging up some of the girls dresses and sunday finest in here um as far as the hanger rail what i'm going to do is something that i learned from one of my old bosses and that is um use a 
top rail for fence posts. Um, if you use that top rail, it's a whole lot sturdier and honestly a little bit cheaper than um, just getting the wooden uh, sticks. It, it just is gonna function just the same. And we have some uh, out in the yard that I'm just gonna go take a metal blade to, cut them down to length, and then we'll have the, the hanger rods in there. But we're still trucking away. We got a lot of stuff going on. Like showed you guys the, the buck I shot. Um, I'm gonna have to skin that out and get the meat processed. We're gonna be doing uh, roasts and we're gonna get the back straps out, keep those as like steak material and then grind some up and then make some jerky. So um, it, it was fun. It was a fun day to, uh, today. We got to have some of our friends out um, and their daughter got their first deer ever so uh that was exciting and then they got to go out and see even more deer this evening so um it's been a fun busy day um but we're getting stuff done and uh trucking along with this so thank you guys for tuning in and keeping up with us and if you guys haven't we got i don't know how many videos we got now um it seems like a thousand but <laughs> it hasn't been that long we've been doing the youtube documenting uh, for around the last eight or nine months, we are beginning our homestead. We did some vegetable gardening this uh, last year. We have goats, dairy cow, chickens, um, and we're just trying to do our best to be self-sustaining and uh, do good with what God has given us. And so uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. Share with a friend, like, subscribe. Um, and we're going to try to keep you guys up on some good content. So thanks again from the Healing Homestead. This is Kenny, and we'll talk to you guys next time.